Hi, I'm Marion. This is Prometheus. We're book sell it, and this is Marching Mammoths. Prometheus had a fantastic, fantabulous month for Marching of the Mammoths. How many books did you read? Two. Two. According to my standards, only one, technically. You read two. I read one. And it was a struggle. <laughs> I had chosen two. And I thought for sure I would fly through my favorite author, Margaret George, Memoirs of Cleopatra. And I set it aside so that I could finish Virginia Woolf. More to come on this one later, but I finished. So what did you read? I read the Pentagon Papers. Nice. I call out. Now this one technically doesn't count according to me because I was already on page 96 and I've been trying to read this book since November of last year. People, please tell him it counts. He finished it this month. <sighs> okay, I read that one. Yeah, it was so good. Pentagon Papers. The Secret History of the Vietnam War. And what was your thoughts on this? Because... Long, and of course it's covering papers so it can get kind of tedious. Right, boring. But if you're looking for more in-depth without going completely insane, also I can't vouch for the credibility. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Gee, why ever would you not trust the government? Don't know. <laughs> Just a few minor incidences. <laughs> Would any of these papers have anything to do with that? Yeah. No. <laughs> no? But yeah, I can't vouch for the credibility, so I take it with a grain of salt, but still, it is interesting enough to read. Okay. And what was the other book you read? I read Napoleon. Now this one, I do count, because I actually started it this month. And this one is by Andrew Roberts, and I know you liked this book. I love this book. It was a wonderful, wonderful read. And it explains so much about... Oh, I'm sorry. So, I was, what would you rate it? It's an excellent book. It's a wonderful book. But most people give star ratings because of Goodreads. I know you don't have a Goodreads account. But if you were to give this star rating, one through five, five being the best, what would you give it? Probably five. Excellent. And why is that? Because of the sheer amount of history in here and the notes. Oh, you read the footnotes? A little bit, yeah. Okay. And there are notes, and then there are asterisks, and then there are crosses, and then there are double crosses. Which There are three sets of footnotes? Yeah, and then there are notes in the back. Goodness. Okay. One of the things that I really don't like about footnotes is when the footnotes are at the back of the book. I prefer the footnotes to be on the same page or carried over onto the next page. How was this book? How did they, how did Andrew... Okay, it was for the names of documents and things like that, mm -hmm. he would assign a number in the footnotes in the back. Okay, that makes sense. Which usually got into the hundreds. Okay. Then for asterisks, there would be fun little information okay. about the time period, occasionally also having a footnote. Did it, was that onclu included on the pages? Yes. That I like. It was included at the bottom of the pages. Our battery needs to be charged. Okay. And then finally there were crosses, which were also at the bottom of the pages. Nice. And then there's crosses with two lines through them, which were used at the bottom. Okay. That's a lot. Yes. But it sounds very organized. It was very I like that the information, a lot of the information is included, so you don't have to go to the back of the book. And very little time skipping. They weren't time jumping oh, back excellent. through years, right. which was another problem I had with this book, is that occasionally I would go from uh, 54 to 69. That was one of the things that I didn't like about Virginia Woolf, was that it would the author would time jump on one page, or two pages later, the book would be published, and then two two pages later... Virginia Woolf is still writing a book. Uh, so we would skip, you know, years and, and then go backwards and then go forward. And I it was very convoluted. The worst page I remember from the Pentagon Papers was when they skipped from 55 
to 64, to 69, then back to 55, and then back to 54. In one page. Were there any missing years? No. Okay. There were no missing years. Okay. So overall, would you say that Marching Mammoths was a success or a failure? Success. Okay. Good answer. Because... The goal was to Just. attempt to start a mammoth, not necessarily to finish it. So I would also say that I had a successful marching mammoth, and even though I didn't finish both of the books that I had attempted to read, um, I definitely know more about the woman known as Virginia Woolf, and um, I know. I have one more book of hers that I will finish and call myself done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I think it's lunchtime. Dinner. Dinner. Mm. Anyway, so it was a good success. I'm proud. I'm glad. I'm happy that we participated. Thank you very much to the three hosts. I keep forgetting the name of the lady who hosted with the two men. I will put their information down below, and um, I hope we get to participate again next year. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. yeah, so don't be afraid of the big books. They're fun. They are fun. They're a lot of fun. So, yeah, I learned so much about this woman. I don't necessarily care about this woman, but... I learned so much and what I do like about Virginia Woolf is how she would read a book and then take notes in a separate notebook which is what I want to start doing so that there's less annotation in the books and my private notes are in a notebook. More on that later. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for visiting. Yeah? Yep. Bye.